All right, everybody, and welcome back to Fantasy Football 2022, week number three, baby. Yes, sir. And ma'ams, big boy Ron, rolling strong in week three. Did I take the loss or did I take the win? Let's find out right now. Let's do this as your boy, Team Clink Scale, Spike. Whispers calls Jalen Hurts 109.36 to 100.7. Yes, I did. And my team did somewhat decent. Wasn't that great, but it was awesome. Now, Russell Ripson scored 9.06. Devon Singletary had a great game against the Dolphins 24.1. Jeff Wilson had a great game against Denver, 11.6. Tyreek Hill had an awesome game. Somewhat. They shut him down. He only could muscle in 5.3. While Jalen Waller, who had, they was doing his thing, scoring 15.1. Gerald Everett scored 4.5. Chris Avale scored 23.7. The Ravens defense held on. To win against the New England Patriots, coming in with eight points, and Ryan scored eight points on the team of uh, my component side. Jalen Hurts, 27.6. Austin Eaker, 13.3. Joe Mixon, 6.8. Brandon Cooks, 4.2. Curtis Samuel, 13.1. Ivory Smith, 5.2. Ezekiel Elliott, 14.5. Buffalo's defense scored 6.0, 6 points. And Daniel Carlson scored 10 points. Now on the bench side, which the scores, my bad viewers, the scores of that was me coming in at 109.36 to his 100.7. Now on the bench side, his bench row. It was just it was just been a bench battle. He would have won. Alright, his bench he had Aaron Jones 5.7. Jerry Judy 3.7. Alan Robinson 4.3. Alan Lazard 14.5. Brandon Ayuk 12.9. Monta Henry 1.8. And Damian Pierce 18.1. On my side. I might let Jasicki go because he, he, he ain't muscling nothing. I'm going to hold on to him in week four. After If he don't do nothing in week four, I got to let him go. He just taking over roster space. He scored 1.6. Dan Darnell Mooney, 4.3. Damian Harris, 12.6. Hunter Renfro, zero because he suffered a concussion last um, in week two. So for NFL protocols, he had to sit out. Tom Brady scored 14.74. Jacoby Myers, 0. Chief defense, 9 points. Giving me a total of 42.24 to his 61 points. All right, let's go into the other scores of the league is Team Magana. Got spanked. No, lost to Big C Brawlers because Big C Brawlers put that spank down on him, beating him 14, 149.22. To 76.66. Team Dunn spanked the dog pound 122.62 to 107.88. Team Boss took that spanking from Team Clock the third 131.9 to 92.5. And last, Team Team Pugliese's. 156 to 118.6. Now let's go into the league standings to see where we all stand at. Alrighty, on the east side, big ballers, two wins, one loss, holding the number one spot. Second place is Team Lima with two wins, one loss. Third spot is Team Dunn, two wins, one loss. Fourth place is the Dog Pound. Two wins, one loss, and in fifth spot, in fifth place, Team Pugliese's one win, two losses. On the on the West End, yes sir, Team Clock holding the number one spot. Two wins, one loss. 
Team Clean Scale, oh big daddy, that's me. Holding second place, two wins, one loss. Third place is held by Whispers Claus, Jalen Hurts, with one win, two losses. Fourth place is Team Magana, one win, two losses, and holding it deep, the last of the least. Team Boss, no wins and three losses. Now, y'all tune in to week four. Do I go three and one, or do I take a loss? We'll find out when week four hits Sunday. All right. Thank y'all for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.